अ वेरी हैप्पी न्यू ईयर आज का वीडियो मैं कोशिश करके बहुत ही कैंडिड बनाना चाहता हूँ ताकि सब यूजर्स को पता चले कि मैं किस तरीके से अपने वीडियोस बनाता हूँ और वो कैसे इसका अपनी डेली लाइफ में यूज करके अपनी लाइफ को बेटर बना सकते हैं सो आई क्विकली स्टार्ट विद अ स्मॉल इंट्रो अबाउट माई स्टूडियो सो टूडे द स्टूडियो इज सेटअप इन द मोस्ट बेसिक फॉर वैट सो ह्योर इज वेर आई एम गोइंग टू रिकॉर्ड दिस वीडियो टूडे सो आई हैव माई हेयर पॉड्स आई हैव दिस कंप्यूटर द लैपटॉप I have the light. I can put my phone in the stand. Let's start. Hi everyone. As promised, I will try to make one of the most candid videos today. My channel is dedicated to viewers who want to utilize AI capabilities for absolutely free, and it's meant for every category, right? From the students to the working professionals, to parenting moms and fathers, and to also elderly people who are seeking help in their life or wanting to learn something new. So I just hope that this video is going to add at least some amount of values into your lives today. Let's start with the power of generative AI. So I tried to put a basic prompt regarding ChatGPT 3.5 and the Google Gemini AI comparison. So I quickly give you the context. So I'll explain you what Google's Bard is. Google Bard is a generative AI tool similar to ChatGPT. ChatGPT has been making storms and Uh, is is something that everyone knows about today. But ChatGPT 3.5, ChatGPT का सबसे updated version है, जो कि available for free है, right? And Google Bard 100% is available for free right now. Google Bard ने अभी-अभी अपनी नई Gemini AI capabilities के साथ अपना advanced या updated version of Bard launch करा है, जिसके बारे में हम लोग बात करेंगे. Gemini is built from the ground up for multi modality. यानी कि इसके अंदर आप मल्टीपल मीडिया फॉर्मेट्स प्रोसेस कर सकते हैं इंक्लूडिंग टेक्स्ट इमेजेस वीडियोस एंड ऑडियोस एंड आल्सो कोड्स सो आई एम नॉट अ टेक्निकल पर्सन सो आई वोट बी एक्सप्लोरिंग कोड्स टुडे सो दिस इज हाउ द गूगल बार्ड लुक्स लाइक सो इफ यू वांट टू लर्न हाउ टू यूज गूगल बार्ड फ्रॉम द वेरी बेसिक आई हैव मेड दीज वीडियोज सो मैं आपको पहले अपना प्रॉम्प्ट बताता हूँ मैंने क्या प्रॉम्प्ट दिया है गिव फोर की डिफ्रेंशिएटर्स बिटवीन द करेंट फ्री वर्जन ऑफ गूगल बार्ड With Google's Gemini AI and ChatGPT 3.5 free version in tabular format for comparing general features for day-to-day -day research work for uploading media like text images, videos, and voice for making a travel itinerary for writing a business plan from start to end with financials for data sorting and for homework assignments. Also mentioned in another column, which one is better with proper reasoning? सो मैं इनकी रीजनिंग केपेबिलिटीज भी टेस्ट कर रहा हूँ एट द सेम टाइम वन ब्यूटिफुल फीचर फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई क्लिक श्योर इट विल रीड आउट दी एंटायर रिस्पॉन्स कंपेरिंग बार्ड एंड चैट जी पी टी थ्री पॉइंट फाइव फ्री वर्शन फॉर एवरी डे टास्क फीचर बार्ड जेमन आई आई चैट जी पी टी थ्री पॉइंट फाइव बेटर फॉर रीजनिंग सो वी कैन सी यू कैन ऑल्सो आस्क बार्ड टू अनाउंस योर रिस्पॉन्सेज So, सबसे पहले मैं सारे फीचर्स पे फोकस करता हूँ देन आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द आउटपुट फ्रॉम दैट विच वन इज बेटर एंड द रीजनिंग गिवन बाई बार्ड सो फॉर डे टू डे रिसर्च एक्सेलेंट फैक्चुअल एक्यूरेसी एंड रिसर्च केपेबिलिटीज विद रियल टाइम डेटा एक्सेस सपोर्ट डाइवर्स सोर्सेज एंड प्रोवाइड समरीज द बेस्ट फीचर अवेलेबल विद बार्ड इज दैट इट गिव यू रियल टाइम इंफॉर्मेशन विच इज नॉट अवेलेबल विद चैट जी पी टी थ्री पॉइंट फाइव the free version so that's the reason i use google bard for all my day to day research so even if you look at this this is my every day research so if you see i stopped using google for any of my searches and whatever research i want to do for my work for the questions that i uh, that i have on a day to day basis rather than going to google because google ke upar agar main search karta hu to sabse pehle mujhe upar ads dikhane lagta hai As Google give ten hot topics to pick 
for my YouTube channel AI Dance Ethical Echoes and increase viewer engagement which has YouTube videos on how to uh, use effective AI tools to boost productivity. It, it gives me response in like this. So for day-to-day -day research, we compared good research abilities for ChatGPT 3.5 but limited pre-trained data. The data said that it already has. I am not against OpenAI or ChatGPT. But I, I would really trust Google more because Google is adding definitely more value to my life with the help of YouTube, with the help of Google Maps, with the help of Google search engine and with Gmail. So these are four indispensable things which you cannot take out of your life. And I also feel if I have to choose one company who to share my data with, I will be having more trust in Google. But yeah. For more text-like conversations, human-like conversations, definitely ChatGPT is a win-win. And here's the video, you can check it out later on, which compares real-time ChatGPT and Google Bard responses. Moving on next to the media upload capabilities, obviously Bard has capabilities to upload uh, text. Is can there are images we upload kar sakte ho? Abhi video wala option abhi nahi aaya hai. If you see here, you can upload uh, all the images right from here. For example, if I want to upload this image, I'll simply do this. It uploads the image here. I'll also make a detailed video on this on how to use. You can also give a voice prompt here, right? So I'll, I'm, I'm going to talk about it further in my next video. Now, in chat GPT, you do not have an option to give a voice command. You can upload the image You can upload the image kar sakte ho, right? Going back to Google Bard, comparison. So obviously, for media capabilities, more versatile content handling makes Bard better suitable for multimedia projects. Voice command se lekar, up image upload tak can be done in Google Bard. Then I'll move to travel itinerary creation. For me, Google Bard is again a winner here. Why? Because real-time travel suggestions integrates the booking platform. Is ke andar Google Flights bhi integrate ho jata hai, Google Map bhi integrate ho jata hai. Aap koi restaurants agar aapne itinerary ke andar include karna chahte hai, to uske real time reviews bhi include ho jate hai, including if I want to do a comparison between TripAdvisor and Google, that is also uh, doable. So this is a beautiful feature, and also at times since it has capabilities to integrate YouTube also, to aap ko ye YouTube video ke links bhi nikal kar de sakta hai. For example, if I'm planning to go to Budapest, or if I'm planning a trip to Kerala. So I can give it directly to the command de sakta hu, Google Bard. Ko, give me the top 4 videos for planning my travel to Kerala. So this is something that you can do again on Google Bard. So for me, because there are multiple sources of information can be integrated, Google Bard is a win-win again here. Also, it gives you real-time information. If I want to compare flight prices and everything, it can be done right away out here. Then on ChatGPT, you can get um, you know text ideas for your itineraries but booking integration detailed planning that all is not possible so i am going to talk about this in detail in the third part of my video then business plan writing i personally am a person who keeps on having new business ideas or you know always keeps on thinking about how to build something new so for that main apne nahi koi bhi mere mind mein business idea ya koi bhi kuch plan aata hai to main seedhe ja ke google bard ya chat gpt pe research karta hu but i personally prefer again google bard more and in the fourth part of our video hum log iske upar bhi baat karenge Let's uh, talk about the basic functionalities here. Google Bard can generate outlines, write sections, provide basic financial projections, limited assistance with complex financial. So complex financial is something that is not needed at the business plan writing level, which at GPT primarily generates text prompts and idea. It lacks financial expertise. Obviously, Google Bard is real time. So again, here for business plan writing, I personally prefer uh, Google Bar and we are also going to test it with three examples right from the idea stage to execution in the later part of my video. Then for data sorting, currently there are limited data sorting capabilities and here ChatGPT 3.5 is much more better. So if I try to input bahut badi information fees uthake, main seedhe ChatGPT ke andar ya Bard ke andar input karta hon, to jo uski data sorting hai, that is done better by ChatGPT than Google Bard. I will try to give you a real-time example. This is the data that I input and I asked it to, you know, organize this into tabular formats with different columns for name, address, mobile number, email ID and website. However, it did not provide me the email ID and website. Whereas I did the same research 
on ChatGPT, and these are the outputs I receive. Here's the information, the same information piece. I put here, and I just mention arrange in tabular format. This is the way it gave me the output. See, it also integrated all the emails, all the facts, all the website. I asked it to separate all the above data with mobile number in separate columns. And see how it segregated all the mobile numbers here. According to me, ChatGPT is a winner when compared to the data analytics capabilities. Coming on to the homework assignment part, definitely both can be helpful in different formats. Like for a more detailed homework assignment where I want to include current affairs also, to definitely BARD will always be better. But for more text-like conversations, I, I would suggest that ChatGPT is going to be better. Both can be helpful depending on the task. BARD shines in accuracy and explanation while ChatGPT excels in creative text formats. So if I try to create uh, an overall impact in six areas, day-to-day -day research, media upload, travel itinerary, business plan writing, data sorting, homework assignments, I think BARD is a clear winner in four cases and uh, it gets a one point in homework assignments. So again, BARD stands out for me. In future, I'm going to make more videos in four parts comparing how generative AI is useful in day-to-day -day research. Media upload karke kaise uske andar se hum different different information process kar sakte hain both with chat GPT and Google Bard. Then how to make a travel itinerary. We will try to make a travel itinerary right from the very scratch. Main ek local travel itinerary bhi banaunga aur ek international travel ki travel itinerary bhi banaunga. Then in the third part of the video, I am going to talk about business plan writing. How to write a business plan right from the inception of an idea. Kaise hum idea generate kar sakte hain to getting to the final business plan. And I will also try to show you some basic tips ki kaise aap usko ek presentation mein convert kar sakte hain with the help of free AI tool Canva, right? Data sorting in the fourth part of my video. So data sorting is something again which is relevant and useful for everyone. Maybe data or information uh, lekar seedha generative AI ke andar enter kar sakte hain aur usko process karke ek meaningful or useful data extract kar sakte hain. Then and the last one, homework assignments on assisting students of all ages. As I promised towards the last part of uh, my video, I will also talk about Gemini, its capabilities. So I am not going to talk about the technicalities, but this is how it is comparing with ChatGPT4. So Gemini is the first model to outperform human experts on MMLU, Massive Multitask Language Understanding, one of the most popular methods to test the knowledge and problem solving abilities of AI models. So ChatGPT4 is at 86.4%, whereas uh, uh, Google Gemini Ultra is at 90% capability. However, we need to note that Google Ultra is still not in the market. It's still under development. These are the basic features comparing on various technical formats and not uh, technical persons. So general, general is MMLU comparison where you see Gemini Ultra is winning from chat GPT-4. Then on reasoning, in most of the cases, it is better in math. As we've already discussed, Google Bard or Gemini is way better than chat GPT. Then also on coding, it has mentioned that Gemini is way better. Now, if I talk about the multimodal formats, as we have uh, discussed earlier, image processing ke andar bhi Gemini better hai, video processing ke andar bhi Gemini better hai, or audio capabilities may be Gemini better hai than chat GPT. Now, Gemini comes in three sizes, Nano, Pro, and Ultra. Ultra is the most capable and the advanced largest model for AI, but it is still not available in the market. The Pro version is for, uh, again, must be for a premium Nano, कि कुछ पार्ट्स अभी भी इंटीग्रेट कर दिए गए हैं जिस तरीके से हम लोग इमेजेस अपलोड करते हैं लेट्स सी जेमिनाय की कुछ कैपेबिलिटीज एज मेंशन ऑन देयर वेबसाइट जेमिनाय कैन रीजन विजुअली अक्रॉस लैंग्वेजेस सो इफ यू सी आई आई ट्राई टू शो यू अ क्विक वीडियो व्हिच इज अवेलेबल ऑन गूगल जेमिनाय वेबसाइट ऑन व्हाट आर द कैपेबिलिटीज सो लेट्स ट्राई टू चेक बिग ईयर एंड बार्किंग माउथ अ डॉग स्वीट The coin should be under the right hand. Hmm, I don't know. The coin is in the left hand using a sleight of hand technique to make it appear as if the coin has disappeared. So these are some of the capabilities that the Google 
Gemini will have in future. So Bard has the capabilities of Gemini Pro right now. And later on, they will also include the Gemini Ultra version. So this is this is a beautiful part. So here I'd like to show you what are the capabilities. So Gemini can turn images into code. Gemini finds similarities between two images. Gemini can compare emojis. Gemini can guess the movie. Gemini can guess the clothing, understand outfits. I am going to play an example of how Gemini makes sense of my environment. Let's look at this. Let's video. see if our multimodal model Gemini can help make sense of my apartment. And to add a little extra challenge, I'm going to see if Gemini can handle being prompted only in Chinese. We'll start with this photo. Based on the lighting alone, I want to see if Gemini can figure out which direction my apartment faces. And Gemini responds, Okay, so it looks like Gemini says my room is so Sorry, I'm trying to interrupt in between the video, but I they've just put an image of their room to check where the sunlight is going to be more. If there is more sunlight, then where you can check plants position. You can check Amazing. So how about this plant? What type of light does it need? So this is just to show that you can different different languages. Maybe you can input it in Google Bard is Hindi maybe Hindi. You have to check that. Plant. And it doesn't require a lot of sunlight. Awesome. So I've got a dining room that faces the opposite direction of my bedroom. I wonder if this plant would do better in there. Let me see. So Gemini is surmising that my dining room faces north, has lower light, and is therefore better suited for that plant. Okay, that's some apartment planning with Gemini. Similarly, here are the various other capabilities of Gemini. So this was about today's video comparing the basic capabilities and how to use generative AI for your research, day-to-day -day life, for work, data sorting, business plan writing, travel itinerary making, and how to process multiple formats. So now uh, do wait um, uh, to see the other parts of my video. So this is a quick giveaway by the end of my video. So I gave in the prompt, give you good YouTube video title with thumbnail ideas for my YouTube video on how to utilize generated AI for all above capabilities in daily lives while comparing Google's new Gemini AI and chat GPT 3.5 version. So up CB format me is co information provide TJ and it is very simple to interact. It is just that you have to make use of it in your daily lives. Generative AI agar aap use karenge, so it is going to obviously help you in your future and career, right? So also give reasons as to which one will be better and will generate higher views and interest with reasoning and target audience size. So it has given me a few ideas. AI showdown, Bard versus chat GPT 3.5. Who wins your daily life? Thumbnail idea, split image with Bard and chat GPT logos on opposite side holding uh, uh, battle ropes. So here are some interesting ones. I really like uh, this one. From student to CEO mastering generative AI for every stage of life. So I wouldn't have thought of this. So uh, this is a beautiful uh, caption that I'm going to use for my video. And reasons for higher viewership. This video is made for all uh, a wider target audience. Practical applications, free tools, competitive and showdown. People like to see when we're trying to make a comparison. So this is the observation made by generative AI. So see how smart it is and how meaningful and helpful it can be for everyone today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I wish you all a very happy new year and I promise to create more content which is useful and meaningful for people of all ages. And I would love to hear some suggestions in the comment section. I am also trying to make a few more videos on the new tools in this new year. Especially, I will be focusing more on Canva. Canva is a beautiful AI tool which you can do in any way of designing. And uh, if you want to see my next video on Canva, please do not forget to mention in the comment section below. I will quickly show you what Canva is about, its capabilities, you can make presentations, you can make talks, you can do magic create. It's a beautiful application and I use it for almost everything in my day-to-day -day life. So thank you so much for watching this video. I would love seeing you further and more during this year and I hope I'm able to add some value into all of yours life.